as you know, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, every week we come up with a film pitch for acclaimed actor Willem Dafoe. Mm-hmm. And I got a good one this week because I am a very, I'm a deeply spiritual man, as you know. And I like to celebrate the life of our various religious figures. So this is this is a very personal um, film to me. It's called The Crucifixion of Mary J. Blige. <laughs> and it tells the story of Mary J. Blige's miraculous sacrifice. Uh, the passion of Mary J. Blige, if you will. Her final days in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, the last it, it begins with the Last Supper of Mary J. Blige as uh, she speaks to her disciples or, or her dissy play, if you're French. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Mary J. Mary J. Blige, the, the the singer, wasn't she married to? Uh, she's married to Biggie Smalls. Is that right? Mary J. Blige, the famed singer, singstress. Mm. Um, that is how she lived her life as a humble. She's still star. alive, right? No. Huh? She's still alive, isn't she? Still kicking around, doing some pop songs? In many ways, she is still alive. Okay. But this, we're talking, this is before her resurrection. This goes right back (laughs) um, to the times before (laughs) her crucifixion for mankind (laughs) since. So Mary J. Blige had a last supper and was later crucified for her sins. And this is telling that story. Okay. Yeah. So we got Mary J. Blige, who will be played by both Tia and Tamara from Sister Sister. (laughs) Uh, They're going to swap out, like, because we can't tell the difference because they're twins. True. Um, And I want both. You can't have one without the other, really. Mm, It's it's like those two fat ginger twins that were in Gremlins and Terminator 2. Oh, yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, you've got to find a role for both of them. Mm -hmm. So Tia and Tamara from Sister Sister, and that's how they'll be credited, will be playing Mary J. Blige, uh, who at that time in Galilee was a famous singer of her time, of her generation. Wow. I'm so confused. This is like, well, because I'm still kind of half asleep. I've been like nursing a cup of coffee and trying to stay awake. And so Mary J. Blige is played by two attractive, sort of attractive, now in their 30s, probably twins. Yeah. And she was the, she is God's savior. She's the son of God. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? We keep it ambiguous. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, was Mary J. Blige the son of God? Was she just a man with some good philosophies, some good ideas, who ultimately was punished for, for trying to change the Jewish uh, belief system at the time? Uh. You know, we don't know. Uh, obviously, in my faith, uh, we have a very deep reverence for Mary J. Blige. So we... You know, that's my interpretation. Okay. You know, there is a spooky devil in it, obviously, what? that pops up every now and then trying to tempt Mary J. Blige in the desert, or just uh, just staring at her, looking all creepy, you know. I'm beginning to get it. Is that Willem Dafoe's character? No. No. Because <laughs> no, I'm the, waiting for the this. The spooky stuff. devil is played Thanks. by M- Melissa Joan Hart, who is... <laughs> She's not spooky. Who is famous... <laughs> Um, for playing Clarissa Explains It All and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah, she's a, she's a America's sweetheart. She's a girl next door. She, This is a Willem Dafoe to pitch, right? She'll look spooky when we put a moustache on her. No, she just looked like a little girl wearing a moustache. She'd be, she'd be cute. Not if the moustache has got devil written on it. <laughs> In red paint, so you know it's scary. <laughs> So we got right. Lisa Joan Hart wearing a big black moustache with devil written on it in red. And she's mm-hmm. she just keeps pointing at Mary J. Blige saying, Oh, eat some bread. And Mary J. Blige is like, just fuck off, devil, you prick. Stop it, okay? And of okay. course, you know, she's winning that war because she's Mary J. Blige. What she doesn't know is Hudas, her traitorous friend, who will be played by... Yeah? Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> Come on, why are you doing this to me? I can't. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, continue. What do you mean? Yeah. Why am I doing this to you? This is a Willem Dafoe pitch. I'm, I'm in such hot suspense for the Dafoe. 
this. I'm just getting just this kind of... Just enjoy the great movie! <laughs> okay, so... So the, the one who's going to betray uh, Mary J is, is Malcolm, Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. Right. Playing Hordas, who goes to the... Now, we've got a bit of a problem here. Yeah. I don't want to be accused of anti-Semitism. Of course. But... I am scheduled to have Danny DeVito and Brendan Fraser wearing <laughs> giant noses with big beards and big tall hats, who's eating bagels, spending their whole time going, bah! 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 We will kill this Mary J. Blige, my sugar <laughs> uh, And I'm thinking, so long as I don't actually like say they're Jews, I'll be okay. And remember, I'm just going off the religious texts. Okay? Yeah, that's just an interpretation. It's not saying all Jews are like that. Just yeah. I'm just saying two. that in the holy texts, mm -hmm. there are, and I quote, a scheming cabal <laughs> of Jewish priests. Is that really what it says in the, the New Testament? That's mean. In the New Testament of Mary J. Blige, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I haven't read much. You know, book. I'm trying to be sensitive anyway. I'm trying to be sensitive. Sure, absolutely. So, you know, and I, th I think ultimately this isn't offensive to anyone. Um, so Brendan Fraser is, um, I'm going to eat this falafel and then I'm going to kill the very cheap Danny DeVito is going to go, Ah, circumcision and rabbis. I'm going to kill this Mary J. Blige as well, and I'm going to joik off while I do it. <laughs> it's not that different from the Penguin in uh, uh, Batman Returns, and when you think about it. He will look almost exactly like the Penguin. <laughs> that, that'll uh, feel familiar to people. And that's actually Brendan Fraser's most expressive role ever. I've never seen him let loose like that. Sounds pretty good. Oh, he's really excited. Because it's, it's a break from tradition for him. Right, right. He's normally the businessman or the funny caveman or something. But this time, this time he really gets to cut loose with character acting. It'll be fun for him. Yeah, so Mary J. Blige is arrested by John Cusack and Nicholas Cage, <laughs> who are playing the Romans. You, this is such a detailed plan. Wow, so many. This is the most star-studded one yet. Yeah, continue. Uh, yeah. He is dragged through the streets, is Mary J. Blige, mm -hmm. while the peasantries just shout, Do your miracles and get away! Oh, if you were the son of God, you would magic us all dead. And then the devil, like Melissa Joan Hart, is like bobbing her head up and down in the crowd going, Ha 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 ha! <laughs> all like that. And Mary J. Blige is like, Oh, fuck off, you pricks. Uh, she is dragged before Pontius Pilate. Oh. Is that Willem Dafoe? Is that it? Huh? Is that going to be played by Willem Dafoe? You want to know if Pontius Pilate is played by Willem Dafoe? Yeah. No. Oh. And that will be Tobey Maguire from <laughs> the Spider-Man films. And he will go, I will not kill you, Mary J. Blige. I will whip you with my big stick. And he whips her with a big stick. And then you've just got, oh, those scheming non-Jewish people just going, ah, Hanukkah, you must crucify her. Yeah, you got to crucify that broad. And then wow. Toby Maguire goes, oh, okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> So they drag her through the streets, the other way now, Nicolas Cage and John Cusack, while Tobey Maguire just sort of pisses down the stairs, um, because that is representative of something. Mm, um, symbol. Symbolism, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and Mary J. Blige shows, Peter, my disciple, I, if you're French, surely thou wast recognise me. And Peter, who is played, of course by Rutger Hauer, says, I do not know you. 
and looks away ashamed, and then the cock crows, and the cock. <laughs> it's a rooster, right? Huh? It's a rooster? It's a rooster played okay. played by by an actor? Mary J. Blige. Actor. I was wondering why she wasn't in the movie because she's not that hard to get and she is alive. Yeah, so she's playing the ro- well, she's playing the back end of the rooster. It's a, like a pantomime <laughs> horse, it's like a big rooster. Macy Gray is up front going ah, 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 like that because that's what she sounds like that was the joke there. So anyway, they drag Mary Blade Eyes up to the crucifix, and they nail her in, and they put a crown of thornays on her head, and they hoist her up, and then the ca- while well, she's like hanging up there, she's like, oh well, I'm fucking dead now, aren't I? Fuck. Yeah, and then she, yeah, and then she dies. You go, oh bollocks, and just falls over, and she dies. And they stick her in the stomach with a stick. Uh. All these weeds come out of her. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Metaphorical, but yeah. actual literal weeds come out of her stomach. And they go, oh, the boy king is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, the camera turns round. Uh-huh. Right? It's focused on, on, oh, God. It's focused on the front of Mary J. Blige with just weeds pouring out of her. Wow. The camera pans round and turns round behind the crucifix. And then it turns out the crucifix is Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Which had to hurt for him, too. He's got nails in him. And he looks at the camera and he says, I killed your friend, Mary J. Blige! And I'm gonna kill you, too! And then the camera zooms in his mouth and then the credits roll. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He did that one from beginning to end. You just gave us an entire... Cinematic experience. Well, I mean, if you be a spoken word. If you read the Bible, you can see it all in there anyway. I <laughs> didn't feel any need to give, you know, hide any plot details. Sure. Wow, that you really took us all the way through. My God, I'm still reeling from it. That it, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> John <laughs> Cusack, just not not discussed. Just like, oh yeah, yeah, too huge. Well, I think people will that. know because you know Nicholas Nicholas Cage will come in and he'll be like, oh, we've, oh, we've, we've come to arrest you. Oh. That's why he's like, oh, we're gonna have to arrest you now. Whoa. Oh. He is kind of like that. Yeah, he is like a I'm dopey dead. dog boy. <laughs> But, I mean, yeah. I, I think many actors will they'll be clamouring for a part that celebrates the life and death and, and the ultimate sacrifice of Mary J. Blige. Is it... What's the J stand for? Huh? What is the J in Mary J. Blige? That's not for... It's not Mary Jesus Blige, is it? No, it, it stands for jalapeno. <laughs> I wonder if her fans will be mad about how we've just you've just dissed her in a way. It's kind of a diss, isn't it? To what? say someone, yeah, to, to say to, that the son of you know poss- one possible interpretation that the son of God sacrificed her life for our sins. I don't see how that's a diss. Mm. Well, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, listeners take to it. All the Mary J. Blige loving listeners. She's a she's a big she's a big hit. People really love her music, Mary J. Yeah. Well, I mean, the music's one part of it. I prefer to celebrate what she did for for mankind. <laughs> she didn't do. She didn't do anything. What? She didn't. I don't. I'm. I hate to sound like I'm uh, stepping on your toes, your belief system, but I thought she just recorded some pretty good records, and you know, saying. I think she sang the car wash theme song again. That's about it. I don't remember anything about her, you know, doing God stuff. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Um, that's thrown me a bit. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. I, I, I don't know. I could I, could I didn't want to presume. I had assumed that you and I were on the same wavelength. I'm a bit disappointed, but don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you think, though, huh? It's a great Possibly movie. Possibly Willem Dafoe's finest role yet as the crucifix. That where Mary J. Blige is nailed to. It's an interesting distribution of talent, absolutely, to get 
uh, stars of a uh, now forgotten, semi failed um, sitcom from like the you know, not the ABC CBS but the, I think it was on the CW T N Tamara to star in the in the movie, uh, whereas you have um, Brendan Fraser, um, Nicholas Cage, John Cusack, you know, Tobey Maguire. All just kind of on the on the sidelines. Yeah, it's interesting. interesting well, they're all choice. playing integral roles. Doesn't Toby Maguire just pee down the stairs and say something about hitting over the stick? He's Pontius Pilate. That's true. The famous character from religion. <laughs> that you make a strong point. He is the he is a port, an important character. And then who is a uh, Tartarus again? Is that his name? Who's that one guy? Tartar Sauce. Yeah, who's <laughs> who plays that character again? I'm already blanking on it. I didn't. He... I don't think I cast him yet. Oh. Uh, I mean, you know, we're entertaining ideas. Possibly Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and you have Tia. You have Tia starring in the movie. Yeah. And tomorrow. Is that, how are you going to know which one you're getting at the at the time? Well, if. One of them is in there for a few minutes more than the other. That's a breach of contract. That's on their heads. Uh, I will be very angry if they fuck me about. Oh, so it's not going to be like one of those, like the uh, the red-haired twins you were talking about in Terminator 2. And also um, Linda Hamilton as a twin. And they made sure to stick her twin in Terminator 2 um, so they could both share some screen time. One of them was the T-1000 at the time. but uh, So you weren't planning on any of that, any two Blige's at once sort of thing? No. Because <laughs> that would be the advantage of having twins, you see, is that you could actually, you know, have them talk to each other and be like an internal monologue or something. Or no, I like okay. to think the advantage of having twins is um, we get to pay twice as much for one role. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Then people will see that the budget is high and they'll say, mm. "Well, that's obviously a good movie." Oh sure, yeah, they did that with uh, Battleship. Strategy. You see, mm. I'm working an angle. Indeed. Don't think I ever don't think about what I'm doing. Oh, uh, you, you always are thinking. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's a thought, for sure. Sometimes, yeah. too. <laughs> I don't always understand the thoughts, though. But that's okay. It's not for me to reason why. I'm just here to figure it out and have fun in, in the process. Yeah. <laughs> 